tomorrow as well. All right, Michael, thanks so much and stay safe out there. First alert meteorologist Dave Aguilera is in the weather center and Dave, we're wondering if we will feel the effects from Hurricane Hillary here in Colorado. Good question, Kennedy. This storm is so big you would think it would affect Colorado, but it is not. Let me show you why. Overnight last night, the 12 hour radar loop. Look at the rain already moving into Southern California. We've got a pipeline of moisture and Hillary is way down here and it's spreading moisture as over 800 miles up to the north already in the Pacific Northwest. That water is moving up. That just gives you an indication of how big this storm is. It is a category one uh, with 80 mile per hour winds that will be slamming in sometime this afternoon into Southern California. Now, will it affect Colorado? We have this big, huge ridge of high pressure out over the nation's midsection here. That's where our 90 degree temperatures have been coming from. That is going to remain in place and be strong enough to push most of that moisture to the north and to the northwest and up into Canada. We will see a trickle of monsoon moisture around that high pressure. That may give western Colorado a few thunderstorms coming up on Tuesday, but that is from a different location. That's from down in Mexico and not moisture from Hillary. So we got to thank this high pressure ridge for keeping some of that moisture away. Although I think we would we would love to get a little bit of moisture from the uh, Hillary coming our way. It's, it's just not going to happen. 63 degrees out there right now. It's a little bit hazy. We have a little smoke from the forest fires in the Pacific Northwest that have come in along with just a few little high clouds. So a hazy uh, day this morning, but still lots of sunshine. Should be about 72 at 9 a.m., 89 by noon. The high today, are you ready for this? 95 degrees today with 40 mile per hour wind gust and with the heat and the dryness, we have a red flag warning for the Denver metro area this afternoon, 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Gusts up to 35, humidity levels under 15%. So, um, Kennedy, any little spark could uh, spread rapidly in that type of wind and that type of dryness, so we really got to be careful this afternoon. Um, we got a record high coming our way tomorrow. I'll talk about that coming in just a bit. All right, Dave, we'll check back in soon. <laughs> okay. Keeping